And I really want to welcome everybody for being here. This is uh, the first day of the first grievance that we are uh, stating about the state of California and all the problems and issues w w that we have. Keep in mind, we cannot put all the grievances into one day. That's why we have 39 more days of grievances ahead of us. And we'll be announcing each one of these grievances at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time every single Tuesday. So this is now the reading of the first grievance. State of New California notice to all Californians. Grievance number one, declaration of grievance. New California is a new state in development exercising its constitutional right to form the state of California. The process to form New California is authorized and codified in Article 4, Section 3 and 4 of the United States of America. Whenever any form of government becomes destructive, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute new government. When a long train of abuses and acts to seize and hold the people's power without legal authority and pursuing invariably the same object that clearly demonstrates a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. So it is the history of the present governor and government of California who has a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having in direct object the establishment of a tyranny over the counties of New California and California. Wherever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to seek a constitutional remedy to the abuse of powers. United States Constitution Article 4, Section 3 states in part, New states may be admitted by the Congress into this union, but no new state shall be formed or erected within the jurisdiction of any other states, nor any state be formed by the junction of two or more states or parts of states without the consent of the legislatures of the states as well as that of Congress. United States Constitution Article 4, Section 4 states in part, the United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or the executive when the legislature cannot be convened and against domestic violence. Therefore, the new counties of New California bring forward 40 grievances against the government of California to be announced in public on Tuesday at 11 a.m. each week for the next 40 weeks. State of, California, State of New California grievance number one. Declaration of Grievance, United States Constitution, Article 4, Section 4, states in part. Let's see if we got this right here. The United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or the executive when the legislature cannot be convened against dom domestic violence. Failure of the government of California to provide a Republican form of government. California today is governed by a tyrannical government which is destroying the vestiges of representative democratic government by a monoparty system led by a dictator and one group who controls the government. A monoparty form of governance has been deliberately fashioned to destroy representing representative government governance through illegal district designs false illegal elections, and corrupt election procedures and actions. A governor was installed for two additional terms of office through the use of a corrupt system which altered the California Constitution. Failure of the government <coughs> of California to protect its citizens against invasion and domestic violence. Citizens in California are no longer afforded proper United States constitutional guarantees of protection, but instead are subjected to domestic violence and lawlessness, which is killing, wounded, wounding, and maiming legal California citizens at the hands of foreign illegal non-citizens. 
and illegal and unconstitutional sanctuary state status has been legislated by a mono party and signed by a dictator declaring unconstitutional protections to illegal non-citizens who have invaded California and created an excessive financial burden, reaped violence and death upon California citizens along with the destruction of personal and real property. The California government and the governor using the mechanisms of government have been deliberately encouraging lawlessness by illegal non-citizens with financial incentives, illegal criminal protections, and rights including driver's license and voting, which are only afforded to the citizens of California. California government officials are illegally and unconstitutionally demanding citizens defy the federal government or face prosecution and fines for allowing or following federal law. It is unconstitutional for the states to sabotage valid actions of the United States government per 1819 United States Supreme Court decision of McCullough versus Maryland. That concludes these procedures.